Hello there friends, welcome to another video here at Simple Scribe. In today's video, I actually want to show you guys how to create perfect traces of images wherever you get them from, whether it's real life images, ones you got from the internet or ones you generate through AI right here on Simple Scribe. So um, normally what you would have to do is once you get an image is begin to trace it so that it draws perfectly. But there's another way to achieve perfect tracing. And before I even get into it, I just want to demonstrate what I'm talking about. I have here an image I generated using AI right here at Simple Scribe and it's good. And I began to trace over it because I wanted to have the drawing effect. But that may take a little longer than you would like to spend on a particular drawing or it may just be too difficult for you to do sometimes. And so uh, using masks is a way to get around that and I'll show you how that looks. So what I'll do right now is I'll just hide that layer to reveal the traced image. So this is normally good enough if you can draw or if you want to spend the time trying to create a perfect drawing. We do provide the tools. However, that's the, the same image is being traced here and it's almost perfect and pretty much perfect as you can see all the lines all the curves everything is smooth and it looks good and if you want you can even go to the next level and take an image such as this one here let me demonstrate that to you and trace it off just like that okay so we had this image here i just want to make sure there we go uh, yes, and so you could take really complicated images and create traces of them. Again, this is another AI image I just literally generated through AI and it drew, you know, um, this time I wasn't too specific on the lines. You can go as detailed as you want to or you can just have it literally scribble over the whole thing. Whatever meets the um, artistic intentions of the project that you're working on, we can work around that. So the big question is, what is a mask and how do I use it here on Simple Scribe? A mask is almost literally what it says it is by words. A mask is something that covers up the drawing. And so what we're doing essentially when we create this is we, we're covering up the underlying the, the, the underlying drawing with a with a with a with a invisible or layer or layer to cover over it. It's not it's not exactly white. Um, it's just that white is a color that we use to symbolize invisibility and black is a color that we use to symbolize visibility. This is a standard standard across most drawing applications. But before um, I bore you guys to death with too much talking, let me show you what that looks like. So let me just hide the other layers as well. And let me just reveal the original image. So this is it here. If I wanted to just trace it, normally I would create a drawing. So I would have it there, maybe reduce the opacity a bit and then I would click on draw and then I would begin to trace it. Let me demonstrate that to you very quickly. So in this case, I might do something like opacity, bring it down a bit. Actually, let me do it not on the track layer, but on the image layer, I can do the opacity there as well. So let's bring down the opacity Then I click draw and make sure that I am drawing and then I can begin to trace over the image. Now you may not have a pen, you may be on a computer and doing perfect tracing may be just too tedious for you to do. So the other way is to create a mask. So with a mask, we don't need to have opacity. So if I go to the image and just bring back the opacity to max. With a mask, what I do is I go to transforms and then I go to create mask. And to hide the parts that I want to hide, I need to make sure that I am using a white stroke or a white um, fill. Stroke or fill, it doesn't matter, either one of them works. Let me show you what fill does. So let's say I use a fill. I could hide his entire head by simply drawing over it. And that part, when I press stop, that part, here we go, should be visible. Okay, now it, it's, it's tracing over the area that I just drew, um, but you don't always have to have that. So masks are not... Uh, design particularly for drawing they can be used for drawing but masks are used in various ways so what I'll do is I'll just take that off for now if I go to animations and instead of mask hand reveal I could just have a normal fade in animation just like that save uh, in fact even the exit animation will just do none and we'll do save okay so that this time as you can see it just fades in and it shows me the whitish area okay Perfect. I think you guys kind of get what a mask is and how a mask is used. And I can edit a mask if I want to by going to edit mask and then changing it. 
in this case um, in fact i wasn't using white i was using a grayish color but let's delete that you can just select it press delete it should be gone perfect this time the way i did the tracing was i used a stroke and no fill so i came to fill and i made sure fill was none I came to stroke make sure i had white selected okay and then i began to draw over the mask now if you have um selection mode on your selecting strokes you're not adding strokes but you want to make sure selection mode is off so you can draw and then now you can draw over it in fact you can make the the stroke really really thick so that you don't make any mistakes so that it doesn't matter if you make a mistake actually and you can just trace over the areas so the hidden part will draw first if you go to reveal and it will kind of draw in the same order that you drew if you wanted to you could just do something like that okay whatever the case is and press stop um in this case if i rewind and press play it reveals the masked areas to me okay with a fade animation but if you want it to draw then you need to make sure that you select the animation that you want so i could have uh, instead of fade in we can have mask path reveal this is like the mask uh, reveal without the hand so this is like an automated mask reveal exactly how we drew it so guys i hope you enjoyed this video it is running over my five minute mark but this was just a quick introduction to masks masks can be very powerful tools they can be animated as well we can use masks in a completely different way in a non-drawing context which is the, probably the context i tend to use them the most so masks are useful in their own ways they just happen to have the side effect where they can do drawings as well i hope you guys love this video if you got questions leave questions below um, and I know I know many of you were dying to have this feature so you could use it in uh, any of your pictures, real life pictures, the pictures, AI generated pictures without having to be <laughs> good at drawing at all. OK, have a good one, guys, and take care.